Hey everyone, Mirai here and welcome to the IS Boxer 42 video for Ground Targeted AoE. So in most games, there are classes that have ground targeted area of effect spells, but while multiboxing, it may seem as if you can't really utilize those abilities on any character except the one you're playing from, since when you press the key associated with it, you don't exactly get the option to click the ground until you manually turn on repeater. That's a bit tedious, but fortunately there is a way to use these abilities while multiboxing. So I'm going to first show the basic way of setting this up along with some examples, and then I'll explain how to configure this for the pro system as well since it does require a small change. Now in Ice Boxer, fire up the map key wizard, which is conveniently located under the wizard's menu. On step one, pick the key map where you want to create this new mapped key. To keep things simple, I would suggest either the combat broadcast hotkeys or custom hotkeys key maps. On step two, choose straight key broadcast plus click from the dropdown. And finally, add in the keys you want by clicking in the area near the top and pressing the keys on your keyboard or buttons on your mouse that are tied to your ground targeted abilities. If you make a mistake, simply select the key below and press the delete key. Below that, choose the target where you want both the key and the mouse click to be sent to. And we'll skip the bottom two options since they, in most cases, can be left as is. So that's it. Hit the finish button, export those changes, and you're good to go. Now, in addition to just simply broadcasting ground target AOE at the same time like I'm showing here, you can do a bit more with this. You can enable round robin in order to use the ability on each character one at a time and spread out the AOE. To set this up, locate the map key that was just created in the wizard. And in step one, Enable the round robin option for both actions. Now, in addition to that, a video effects viewer can be used to assist when placing a ground targeted AoE spell. This is generally referred to as cursor based video effects, and it's recommended that you're using a VFX layout with this option to avoid pixelated viewers. And more details about that can be found in the video description. So this option is located in the send next click action. And in order to set this up, simply enable the use video effects option and then set both a source size as well as an output size. You'll probably need to take a few guesses at these values before you get it right, but I'd recommend starting off by using the same dimensions for each of these in order to avoid any additional distortion. However, it's not recommended that this option be used when trying to send a click to more than one window at the same time, as each video effects viewer will end up fighting against each other for which one wants to be on top. Now, some games also have macro conditionals that allow you to drop the spell either directly onto the player or at the location of the mouse cursor. For example, in World of Warcraft, these two conditionals are at player and at cursor. If you're using the at player conditional, then everything in this video up to this point is unneeded. Simply add this conditional into your macro and this spell will be automatically placed where the character is standing. No need to worry about where your mouse cursor is, where the camera is pointing, or whether you've clicked in the right area. On the other hand, the at cursor conditional can be used in tandem with a set view command and a sync cursor action in IS Boxer so that you can just drop the spell wherever the cursor is positioned without needing to click. In order to set this up, you'll probably want to start off by creating a set view macro to call a particular view number so that all of your character's cameras will be in sync. If you're creating this macro in IS Boxer, then it will need a unique key combination assigned to it as well. In addition, you can also create a macro for your ground target ability in IS Boxer. If you choose not to create this here, then it will need to be created in game as well as bound to a key. Okay, so after that, create a new mapped key give it a name, assign a hotkey, and set it to execute when pressed or released. Next, create an additional step so that you've got two. Then, in step one, create a named World of Warcraft macro action, and this will be assigned to the set view macro. I'm using a target of all with current, but for this action, the target you use might be different. After that, move to step two and create a sync cursor action with a target of all without current 
or others in when using an action target group. And finally, depending on how you have things set up, you can either use a keystroke action that sends the key you have bound to your in-game macro. This is how the wizard sets it up. Or if you've created the ground target macro in IS Boxer, then you'd use another named World of Warcraft macro action and assign it to that. And that's it. Now for pro system users, this is slightly different. You do have to set this up yourself and you have to break up the two actions in order for this to work correctly. The send next click action goes into the top level ground target AOE mapped key, normally located in the combat hotkeys key map. And the keystroke action or named World of Warcraft macro action goes into the class specific key map. And that's how that works. Well, that's pretty much all there is to know when it comes to using ground targeted AOE spells as a multiboxer. In addition to what I showed here, you can also mix and match some of these or even change it up with custom views in game to help spread out the AOE easier. And as always, for any further questions, comments, or concerns, please visit the Iceboxer forum or the live chat. And with that said, again, my name is Mirai. Thank you for watching, and I will see you in the next video.